You're fired. <laughs> yes, you need to fire your upline. You need to fire your sponsor. Whoever signed you up, tell them to kick rocks. Karen, just in kidding. I love all my Karens. Hey everybody, my name is Jen. Welcome to Tuesday's Tip Training and tonight's today's topic is um, firing your upline slash your sponsor. Whoever signed you up, don't worry. We're going to have some fun with this because you may, you might be like, well, Jen, I love her. She's amazing. Or Susie Q signed me up and she sucks. It's okay, right? So this is going to be a fun topic. Uh, say hello when you tune in. It's exciting you're here. But what I want to get to is when you join any company or you sign up to get that membership discount, because I've totally done that, uh-huh, and um, the person that you signed up underneath, she or he was great like at the vendor event, and then maybe you guys just didn't connect, or maybe you felt like they should do more, or they don't do enough prizes and awards and incentives and monthly this, that, and the other, right? I get it. Or you see another team over there that they're doing more things you would like right? I've been there. I've had those exact feelings. But after over 16 years in network marketing, I've learned a lot that it has nothing to do with your upline. Guess who it has to do with? Oh, I know you know I'm going to say it. It has to do with you. It has to do with the person that signed up to grab that kit, whether you were a kidnapper in the beginning or whether you really wanted to get rolling in a business right away. Okay, so when you get started in network marketing, uh, most of the time they come with a kit, you know, and you get a binder and you get all this stuff to get you going. And yes, the person that signed you up, uh, they may give you all this information or they may say, here, go there, or you may hear crickets. It's okay. Um, so when you get started, <clears throat> it's crazy to say this, and I know you've heard it before, but you are your own boss, right? I choose my own hours when I want to work, so do you. And uh, you can work it around everything you do. So the sooner you can get that in your mind, that you are your own boss and the person that signed you up was a blessing in disguise, right? That person helped you get into whatever company that you're in and they may have quit a week later. Yeah, that was my story. Uh, so they may sign up and then they may decide it's not for them, but you're still within the company, right? So you have to be your own boss and see what you want out of that company. Okay. So you don't have a, let's just say your sponsors. Okay. I don't know. Fill in the blank, whatever you want. Okay. But say your, your sponsors. Okay. And you just want a little bit more. Well, how do you get that? You do that or you reach out. And I always say, reach up. So if your sponsor here who signed you up, sponsor, upline, whatever you want to call it, that person may not be able to give you the needs that you're looking for. You may have more experience than that person. Crazy, right? You might. You might have done something else in another career that can help you in this business better. It's okay. We're all at different levels in the game. So you can ask that person and say, hey, is there anybody I can ask about XYZ, Facebook Live parties, uh, messenger parties, TikTok, all of those different things. And if they don't answer you, it's okay. You could actually call your company and say, hey, who's above them that I could reach out to? Yeah, I did that. Anyway, so you could do that or you could start searching out people that are within your company. And I call it Facebook stalking, uh-huh, where I'm like, oh, who's so-and-so? And I just type in their name and I search them out and I start following what they are doing. Now, if they're doing stuff that I wanna do, you can learn. Then you can send them a personal message and say, hey, I really like what you are doing here in this situation. You know, could I ask you a couple questions? Majority of the time, guess what they're gonna say? Yes, people love to be loved. So they love when you reach out. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, search it up. It's pretty funny. Um, but reach out and ask questions. But do your research. We are in a world right now where there's so much information. It's like information overload. It is so much stuff that I don't know if you're like me, but I'm like, oh my gosh, my brain is fried. I can't think anymore. Okay. So think about what you're doing, right? Say you're going to do a Facebook live and you're like, how do I do a Facebook live? So search it out. Do some research. Ask your upline if she's great. He's great. Or if they're not search out somewhere else, but search that information is everywhere. 
YouTube is my favorite, right? And I'm loving TikTok because you can find a lot of stuff on there. But research it before you, you know, you're like, well, my sponsor doesn't do blah, blah, blah for me. My sponsor doesn't blah, blah, blah. Honey, you're in business for yourself. <laughs> I'm telling you, the more you build your business, the more you'll grow and you may grow way past your sponsor and it's okay because everybody's at a different level, right? Everybody has different education levels in different topics. We're all not experts in the same thing, right? So it's okay to love them where they are. I'm going to repeat that. Love them where they are. Okay. And if you need something, ask because they can't read your mind like my kids they can't read my mind when i'm like why did you leave this on the floor for the 10th time they can't read my mind they can read my facial expressions but they can't so ask if you need help because people want to help genuinely most people want to help okay so the next one is attend trainings when you can i get it right Everybody's got a bazillion things going on. If you can't attend in person, catch the replay. Catch the replays. Save them on your phone. If you haven't figured out the save feature on Facebook, oh my gosh, girl, it is a game changer. Figure that one out. If you need help, shoot me a message. But attend those trainings. And it doesn't have to be specific trainings just for your business. It can be for anything, right? I, I love all kinds of trainings. It doesn't matter what business you're in. You can pick something up. So if you're selling candles, you could watch this makeup lady over here and see how she's doing things. Uh, and then you can incorporate it over here. So you guys, that is my shortened version of how to fire your upline, fire your sponsor, because you are ultimately in charge of your business. You are completely in charge of it. Make the most of it. When you're having a down day, call your upline or sponsor. And if your sponsor's not there, call someone else. Send them a message. If, does anybody make phone calls anymore? I don't know. I'm a texter, right? But if you have any questions, comments, Anything like that, you guys drop it below. Thanks so much for taking time to catch this live or replay. This is Jen. We'll see you all soon.